Good day, my fellow cycle buddies all over the world. This is Ingo. Today we're gonna do a very special tour rund um Vorarlberg. Basically around Vorarlberg, which is the most western province here in beautiful Austria. It's close to 150 kilometers. Elevation gain around 2,500 meters. Three passes to conquer. Yeah, locals refer to this route as Rundums Ländle, means like around Ländle, which is a nickname for Vorarlberg. Well, the three passes I just mentioned are as following. First one, we have to climb up the Hochtamberg Pass. Up to almost 1700 meters above sea level, 15 kilometers long, around a thousand meters elevation gain. Then we have a little downhill to Lech, 1400 and something. Have to climb up to 1800 again. Up the number two, Flexen Pass. Then we have a spectacular downhill, almost 50 k's to Bludenz. Come to Dornbirn and then is number three, and that's the nasty one, right at the end. It's the Lozen Pass. Seven point two kilometers long, average gradient nine point three. It's a killer. Now we are in a little quaint village at the end of the Bregenzer Waldwelle, Schopenau. You can see the big mountains are waiting for us. In about a kilometer, the ascent to up to Hochtamberg starts. Next village, we are on 1200 meters now. Schrocken. Look at that bridge up there. Crazy, that's where we go up. Summit is around the corner. That mountain over there is the Pronal Spitze. It's the highest mountain of this valley. 2,800 and a couple of meters. First pass done. Ticked off. Hochtamberg Pass. One thousand six hundred and eighty meters above sea level. Climbed exactly one thousand and fifty meters so far. Distance thirty six k's. In winter time, this is a famous ski resort. And over there, there's a little lake, natural, uh, the Kalbili Sea. And then a good hour's walk. In this direction, you come to the Kerber Sea, which was voted one of the most beautiful places here in Austria. Absolutely spectacular. You can walk here summer and winter, it's all prepared, but meters and meters of snow. This is one of the places in Europe with most average snowfall, as well in the Mülz. Average 9.3 meters in a winter. Crazy. This is a mountain, Witterstein. Climbed up there many times. It looks worse than it is. It's not as bad. From here, two hours, you're on top. You see, uh, you can't see, but I see. Right on top, there's a cross, people up there. Servus. Hikers. So just over there is the highest point and then we have a downhill to Wart. And uh, another six or seven k's. And we come to Lech. Fill up the water bottle, have a little snack. Yeah, the cows here, you see, they are up until beginning of September. Da geht's wieder hoch. So, gefällt's euch hier? Ja. Super, wohin geht der, wo geht der wandern? 
Schau mal hier, Johnny, ist das von dir? Ins Wasser! Nein, ich bin hier! Oh! oh. Lech, Partner Cities, Hakuba, Japan, Campton, Germany, Beaver Creek, USA. Yeah, here you'll find uh, beautiful five-star resorts with the best of the best. Not cheap, but uh, if you want to go for a proper holiday in the mountains, this is the place. Champagne bars, you see, all waiting. So if you want to spend uh, easily some euros, dollars, whatever you bring, uh, they, you can do that quickly here. Five star. Uh, this is the famous Gasthof Post. This is where Charles and Diana stayed. Many royalties. All right. Next pass is ahead of us. Flexen Pass. Right, I'm in Zürs now. It's like 250 meters climbing from Lech. Coming into Zürs. This is probably the Rolls Royce of all ski resorts in the world, probably. Very tiny. Most hotels in the summer are closed. And for example, this is the the type of hotels you get here, Zürcher Hof, for example, one of the best in Austria, probably, yeah, ski resort, you cannot beat it, five star, but if there would be a grading six star, they probably would get one. Uh, it looks understatement, but the inside, it's, yeah, spectacular. Now you drive, you're gonna ride through Zürich, you see ski lifts everywhere, it's all connected, it's a, uh, Paradise for Alpine ski lovers, I tell you. I think this is the Mitarbeiter house from a hotel. So that's where the staff lives. Servus. Bentley house, five star. Yeah, the old four star, but five star here. So a typical day here in the winter is like, get up, huge breakfast, then you go for skiing, come back in the afternoon, high tea, go in the sauna. Most of these resorts have huge wellness centers, indoor, outdoor, pool, everything you can imagine. In the evening, usually six, six course dinner, and in the evening or at night you go uh, in their hotel bars, discos, have some fun. So a week holiday here, amazing. You see, ski lifts. So the pass is just a couple of hundred meters up here. And we are on top of Flexen Pass. We made it. Top of Flexen Pass. Second one, tick. 1773 meters. I well, better get my jacket on now because now we're gonna have almost 50 kilometers of downhill all the way to Bludenz, and that's where we're gonna have a little pit stop, something to eat and drink, I know a little bakery there, off you go. You see that tunnel, what a masterpiece, the waterfall on the left side. So that's where I just came down, now we head all the way through this valley, closer tal, all the way to Bludenz, and up there, to the left, you go to Tirol, to St. Anton, am Alberg. The end of July is another uh, sportive, it's the Alberg Giro. 
150 k's, two and a half thousand meters. And they start in St. Anton, go all the way out down here and then over the Silvretta Hochalpenstraße. So I might even participate then, but uh, I haven't decided yet. You see how strong I feel today. Uh, to my South African pals, this is like almost like Chapman's Peak, just a bit higher and without the ocean next to it. Safe and sound in Bludenz, Ooh, quite a nasty headwind. You hear it? Alright guys, I'm in Satines, I'm cruising through the villages here, all the way down to Dombien. A bit of up and down, nasty wind just ahead. Nice temperature. Little ice cream in between. Well, I'm in Dombien now. People enjoying themselves here. Dombien Arach. Swimming. Well, one kilometer to go and then we have this third climb up to Lausen Pass. 7.2, 9.3 average. It's quite a nasty one, right at the end. Cycled 132 kilometers, 1,800 meters so far. So it's gonna be a, a bit of a brute one, this one. But anyway, let's do it. Alright folks, I made it up Lausen Pass. Ooh, it was tough. Very hot up here. After a good day of climbing at the end, uh, a little beast is a killer. So here this is the view of the Bregenzer Wald. Down there at the bottom, that's where I started this morning. You see that mountain at the far end? That's where I went up and all the way, 145 kilometers later, back here. Fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching. I see you in the next one. Meanwhile, don't forget, keep on pedaling. Cheerio, thank you and greetings from Vorarlberg. Rundum Vorarlberg, around Vorarlberg. That's what we did today. Bye-bye.